G'day everyone, um, it's Grant here. I'm going to try and make uh, an automatic seagrass planter, uh, planting machine, um, which is a bit uh, interesting because uh, I don't know, there's been a few attempts at it before and um, I'm just going to try and take concepts from, um, you know, modern agriculture and apply it to an underwater um, application. Um, I know people have tried rice planters and things like that, but I think we're in a really good place now um, with the new research that's been done by UWA, um, John Statton, Gary Kendrick and all the team there, have just been brilliant. Um, so if we can get a regular supply of seeds then we should be able to do um, a mechanised planting. And uh, Craig Sherman and um, I think it's Peter McCready did the study in Port Phillip Bay saying about five centimetres is the optimum uh, planting depth for uh, germination of the seagrass seeds. And of course, you know, seagrass holds about 3,000 fish per acre. Um, so that's why it's important for the marine environment and, uh, you know, it's a really good carbon sink. Um, so it's really cool habitat. So what I've got here, I've got a piece of polycarbonate sheeting and um, I've got one of these like 10 buck plastic boxes. I've got these really cool funnels which I got from Autobahn. They're pretty cool. And I've got some clear vinyl tubing and um, we're going to try and put it together. I also got this from JCAR which is a little motor set and I'm thinking of making a little um, conveyor belt because we've got to make the dosing right for the um, the seeds so they can keep coming into the um, the sediment at the right rate. Also got a spring kit. So all this stuff has cost me about, I don't know, 100 bucks maximum so far but there's more to it. We're going to have more um, uh, materials soon so but we'll, we'll get going with it and um, see how we go that's it interesting times <laughs>